model selection. When we are building a model, we just don't build one single model. We build an iteration of models. We keep trying to improve our model. We add more variables. We, we derive new variables and add into our model. We transform our variable, we collect more data and we try to build our model as good as possible. But when we have built like 10 or 20 models, how do we choose which model is correct? Especially in a logistic regression model. For linear regression, we had something like adjusted R square, where if the value of adjusted R square is high, the, that particular model will be a good model. We need to find something like this in the for the logistic regression models also. We can go with AIC and BIC value. AIC is Akaike information criteria and BIC is Bayesian information criteria. These values are like adjusted R square values in linear regression models. Just like adjusted R square, standalone model AIC has no real use. But if we are choosing from three different models, then the AIC value might help. We will check AIC value of each of those three models and whichever is giving us the lowest AIC value, we will go with that particular model. So given a collection of model for the data, AIC estimate the quality of each model relative to each of those other model. If we are choosing between two models and the less AIC would be preferred because AIC is an estimate of information lost when a given model is used to represent the process that generates the data. So any model out of 10 model which has lower AIC would be the best model for us considering the rest of the factor are similar. AIC which is Akaike information criteria the formula would be minus 2 ln L plus 2 K the L is the maximum value of the likelihood function for the model and the K is the number of independent variables. From here we can see that it also depends on the number of variables just like adjusted R square. And BIC is a substitute to AIC with a slightly different formula. We will follow either AIC or BIC throughout our analysis. Let's consider one more thing and apply it on a different level. We have three models which are giving us similar accuracy. Accuracy value is similar, but we are using, for one model we are using 10 variables, another we are using 20, and for a third model we are using 25 variables. Let's just take model number one because it is taking less variables and it would be less computation costly. But having that said, we need to find the model which is losing lesser information also. So, two different models with similar accuracy would be compared on based on the AIC value. If the AIC value for that model is low, we will go with that particular model. So in Python, we are going to build three different models, model 1, model 2 and model 3 with drastic difference of variables that we are going to choose and we will compare the AIC and AIC values of these models and select which model is going to be better for us. So in Python, we are going to build a few models. We are going to build a model one which will take all the variables and using the AIC and BIC values and impacting variables, I will build another model which would be model two. And then depending on the model two, I will again drop a few variables and add few variables back in and build a model three. Then we will compare the AIC and BIC values of these three models and find the best out of three models. Okay, so I will import my data set and then import the stat model API as SM, which I'm going to use to build my model. Then I will define my model number one with SM logic and I will take my Y as active customer and then in my X variable, which I'm taking all the variables, which is income months of month on network, number of complaint, number plan change, relocated or yes or not, monthly bill, technical issues per month, speed test results and everything. And I will, in a single line, I will add the constant and fit the model also. Okay, so now that I have built the model, I will look at the summary of this model and I will see which of the variables are important. Okay, from here I can see that income is less impacting. 
and monthly bill is also le least impacting. So these two variables I will just drop out of my model and I will build a model number two. Okay, so model number two I am building with a dropping income and monthly bill dropped. And looking at the summary of this model, I can see that okay, relocated has high values and speed red test result is also contains high value of importance looking at the z value so we'll just play along and we will remove the high impacting variables from the model and we will build a new model model 3 and using these three models which we have just built we will compare the aic values of three models for M1, I will call the AIC values with the AIC, model 2, and then model 3, I will call the AIC values of 3 models. Now, just looking at model 1 and model 2, there is a little bit of difference in AIC. So, model 2 has a bit more information loss, but model 3 has a lot of information loss, because it's going too far. Model 1 has information loss of 98,747, but model 2 has... 99,627 now the question arises between model 1 and model 2 which one to choose clearly looking at it model 1 has low AIC value and it should be chosen but we can consider the criteria of accuracy and compare which one is better and using these two different criteria considering these criteria we might go with the model 2 also because a very least information change in model can also help us looking at this these two we can go with model 2 also depending on other parameters of our model